Hello and welcome to this short introduction to Brittle Ballistics version 2. Um, Brittle Ballistics is a high performance customizable ballistic simulation. So this means that it simulates um, forces like gravity or air resistance on projectiles. And it does this using um, Unity's job system and burst compiler. So it's very performant and um, utilizes multi threading to combine um, the bullet simulations of like hundreds of thousands of bullets um, over uh, multiple threads um, and it does not rely on unity as entity system because entities are still um, in active development and it might update to them in the future um, and so you can see um, when we try to shoot at range so aim straight at the 1000 meter target um, we can see that the bullet moves to the left because wind is still active. <laughs> but if we deactivate the wind and shoot straight at the target, um, you see that we hit um, below what we actually want to hit. Um, but you can see these indicators in the scope uh, and when we aim slightly upwards, um, even more upwards, uh, we can hit perfectly uh, in the center of the target. And we can also enter cinematic mode to follow the bullet. So you can see the bullet flying. Uh, and when we disable slow motion, you can see that we hit the target perfectly. Um, but we also have um, material interactions. So, for example, here uh, you can see that the bullet bounces off this ricochet material. And we can uh, ricochet off stuff, we can also penetrate it, so we can shoot through um, this glass material. Um, or here, um, you can also see when you enter cinematic mode, they shoot through the material. And we can also apply forces, so these um, cubes here uh, are on hinge joints, and when we shoot them, a force is applied. Yeah, and this is the stress tester weapon, so you can shoot uh, one bullet per frame and so you can shoot like thousands of bullets and the performance you can see still above 200 fps even in the editor and we are currently uh, have like over 1500 bullets active uh, so yeah you can see that performance is really good um, to take a bit of a closer look at the material interactions, uh, we might zoom a bit into uh, this here. And um, inside this environment provider component, we can enable the debug paths. So when we shoot now uh, at this target, we can see um, the bullet paths. And um, Inside of each collider, we have this material um, property, um, and when we set this to a ballistics material, it gives us these extra fields here. And uh, currently, the ricochet probability is pretty high, so it's always bounces off. But if we disable ricochets, um, you can see that we can shoot through this material. And if we, for example, lessen the energy loss per unit, so how much bullet, uh, how much energy each projectile uses when traveling through one unit of this material. Um, we can now see that we can shoot further through before the bullet gets stopped. We can completely shoot through. And we can, for example, increase the spread so um, the paths are more randomized when shooting through this um, material. And what we have already seen was that when we increase the ricochet probability, um, it is a lot more bouncy, the material. So it um, basically just reflects all of the bullets. And here we can reduce the energy the bullet has after bouncing off. So when we set this to a pretty low number, uh, you can see that the bullets ricocheting off this um, are pretty slow. and uh, fall down pretty soon. And uh, instead of uh, the tracer bullets we're currently shooting, uh, we can 
simply uh, exchange the tracer bullet provider, so the weapon component. Um, you can define a visual counterpart to the bullet which is currently being fired. For example, we can set this to this bullet provider. And now we simply shoot a yeah, brief map which gets instantiated and pooled. And just this one click, we have exchanged this. And if we shoot now with this weapon, we shoot this bullet prefab. You can see better when we enter cinematic mode. So now we have this bullet prefab, which is actually being fired. And similarly to this um, visual bullet, um, and on an object customizability, we can also customize the uh, impact objects, so how impacts are handled with uh, objects in the scene. And um, so, for example, this material has an impact handler, which creates the particles on impact. We also have a global impact handler, which is always applied, which um, handles the rigid body forces and applies damage. So, for example, we have a damageable object here, and when you hit it, we see that it took damage. And another system. Uh, which is implemented inside of bullet ballistics is the differentiation between a bullet spawn point and a visual spawn point. So oftentimes in first person shooters we want um, the hit um, detection to begin in the center of the camera. Um, but usually the visual representation of the bullet should be spawned at the tip of the barrel. And now we have a discrepancy because um, the camera is not placed at the tip of the um, barrel. So we can define these two different spawn points and um, the ballistics will move these um, visual bullets towards the physical bullet over some distance. And if we move this spawn point more outwards and um, shoot them again, we should be able to see the visual bullet arcing inwards towards the physical bullet. I hope you can see this in the recording. And uh, the distance until the visual bullet hits the or meets the physical representation can be defined inside the ballistic settings here under this um, point. We can increase it to 30. And now um, the visual bullet will take longer until it reaches the um, physical representation. So it arcs less. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, apart from that, there's the documentation you can follow to get the more in-depth information. And I'll also make a further video on um, how to set up bullet ballistics in your own projects. Um, so thank you to, for watching. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask. Uh, have a good day.